Besides adding more RAM, upgrading your processor, or buying an SSD, there are a few simple and free ways that you can use to speed up your PC. My name is Andrew, and today I'll be showing you a few simple techniques that you can use to dramatically speed up your computer. Now the great thing here is that we do not need to install any software to make the computer faster. All of this can be done manually. Now first to start off, we are going to delete all of the computer's temp files. These files are created to help certain programs run smoothly, however often go unused quite quickly. Now to access your temp files, go down to your start menu and enter the program run and press enter. Now this will summon a small dialog box in which you can type percent temp percent and finally press enter. Next, the contents of your temp folder will then be shown on the screen. Now believe it or not, all of these files are not mandatory to computer performance and can therefore be deleted. Now you can do this by pressing Ctrl A to select all the files and then delete them to terminate the files. Now there's a good chance that you will get a message from Windows saying that some of the files are currently being used by the computer and therefore cannot be deleted. Now you don't need to be concerned with this though, so just press skip every time it prompts you. Now once you're done deleting the files, you should notice that the list of temps goes way down significantly and at this point we can move on. Next up, move down to your start menu again and type in defrag. Now a couple of options should come up, but the one we want is the item called defragment and optimized drives. Upon selection, you will be shown a list of all the drives that are currently connected to your system. Now the drive you're looking for is your main drive on which Windows is installed, which by default is usually drive C. First off, select your Windows drive and press the analyze button near the bottom of the box. Now this will go ahead and detect any fragmented data on your hard drive. Now once the analyzing is complete, it will then tell you how fragmented, if at all, your hard drive is, and will then relay the steps that you can take to defragment your disk. Defragmentation will take broken system files and reorganize them to better optimize system performance. Now next up, enter your PC's task manager by pressing Ctrl Alt Delete. Here we will be ending any unnecessary tasks that may be soaking up extra computing power. Now when you open up Task Manager, you will see every application as well as every process that is currently running and operational on your computer. Now for me, since I'm using Windows 10, Cortana is often running in the background. However, I do not use Cortana, and because it's taking up 60 megabytes of RAM storage, I'm going to right-click the process and press End Task. Now you can then proceed to do this for all other unwanted processes, thus releasing disk and RAM space. Now last but not least, head down to the Start menu one last time and type in Performance and then click on the Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows option. Now this will bring up a multitude of configuration options, allowing you to adjust nearly every aspect of Windows, including things such as taskbar animations and mouse pointer shadows. However, if you don't want to adjust each individual parameter, you can simply choose from a few of the default presets that are available. Of course, the Optimize for Best Performance option will be the best for getting the most juice out of your system. Now by the way, a quick tip. Although this doesn't immediately come to people's mind, boot times are also an important part of a computer's overall speed and stamina. Now you can increase the boot time very easily by clearing off your desktop. Moving folders and unneeded pictures and files to your documents can shave seconds or even minutes off of a PC's boot speed. Well that's all for this video. If you like this content, check out some of my others. Also if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. But anyway guys, my name is Andrew, and until next time, thank you for watching.